Hello and happy day. Have you reminded yourself to slow down today, to reduce the noise, to listen? My name is Igor SF Walker and I'm here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. And today we look at Cutting Through Spiritual Materialism by Chungyam Rinpoche. Can there be awareness without a watcher? Well, yes, because the watcher is only paranoia. You could have complete openness, a panoramic situation without having to discriminate between two parties, I and other. When the watcher is gone, there's no evaluation of the experience as being pleasant or painful. As the watcher begins to realize that it is irrelevant, it slowly falls away. The division between the knower and the known disappears. Self-evaluation and self-criticism are basically neurotic tendencies which derive from our not having enough confidence in ourselves. Confidence in the sense of seeing what we are, knowing what we are, and knowing that we can afford to open we can afford to surrender that raw and rugged neurotic quality of self and step out of fascination, step out of perceived ideas. Surrender also means acknowledging the raw, rugged, clumsy and shocking qualities of one's ego, acknowledging them and surrendering them as well. Disappointment is the best chariot to use on the path of the Dharma. It does not confirm the existence of our ego and its dreams. In life, which is a very hard thing to do, disappointment is a good sign of basic intelligence. I am willing to open my eyes to the circumstances of life as they are. There's a very dangerous tendency to lean on one another as we tread the path. If a group of people leans one upon the other, then if one should happen to fall down, everyone falls down. So we do not lean on anyone else. We just walk with each other, side by side, shoulder to shoulder, working with each other, going with each other. This approach to surrendering, this idea of taking refuge is very profound. I'm not willing to lean on them in order to gain support. I'm only willing to walk along with them. It has been said that the first stage of meeting one spiritual friend is like going to a supermarket. You're excited and you dream of all the different things that you are going to buy. The richness of your spiritual friend and the colorful qualities of his personality. The second stage of your relationship is like going to court as though you were a criminal. You are not able to meet your friend's demands and you begin to become self-conscious because you know that he knows as much as you know about yourself, which is extremely embarrassing. In the third stage, when you go to your spiritual friend, it is like seeing a cow happily grazing in a meadow. You just admire its peacefulness and the landscape, and then you pass on. Finally, the fourth stage, uh, as one meets their spiritual friend, is like passing a rock on the road. You don't even pay attention to it. You just pass by and walk away. The confused person feels that he or she has thoughts about and reactions to external phenomena and so is caught in the constant action and reaction situation. The enlightened person realizes that thoughts and emotions on one hand, and the so-called external world on the other, are both the play of the mind. Thus the enlightened person is not caught in the dualism of subject and object, internal and external, knower and known, I and the other. Everything is self-known. If you're highly involved in the emotion, such as anger, then by having a sudden glimpse of openness, which is shunyata, you begin to see that you do not have to suppress your energy. You do not have to keep calm and suppress the energy of anger, but you can transform 
your energy and your aggression into a dynamic type of energy. It is a question of how open you are and how much you are really willing to do it. If there is less fascination and satisfaction with the explosion and the release of your energy, then there is more likelihood of transmuting it. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like it, share it with the world, subscribe to my channel, and you can find a direct link to this book in the description below. Get it and read. Thank you. Love and respect.